You fought the rest? Now try the best! I wanted to do a Tekken 8 base roster tier list demonstration. This is not your typical video where I say what characters should and should not be in a video. This is more so me just showing you guys what the numbers would actually look like. A couple of days ago, we talked about how Harada and Michael Murray, they said the roster would be a lot more than 16. In response to that, I made a poll and I asked you guys, how high do you want the base roster for Tekken 8 to be? Right now, as I'm making a video, the poll is at 3,000 votes. If you go check it now, it's probably like 6,000, 7,000. So maybe the numbers could have shifted but right now 25 to 29 characters is leading the pack followed up by 30 to 34 and then in third place and this is kind of surprising 40 or more characters so i just want to go to the tier list.com and just show what 25 characters 30 characters 35 characters 40 characters really look like because the lowest that i will probably go and would want them to go is maybe like 28 or 30 because once you start going really down there bro you lose a lot of fan favorites let's start off with the 16 you have the first 16 that's in a beta these characters are already confirmed something that they do for every single tekken is add in brand new characters and believe it or not tekken 7 had i believe 10 characters their first time ever in a game akuma kazumi all of those characters i don't think they'll do 10 characters for tekken 8 because tekken 7 harada said he did a lot of experimenting josie was an experiment gigas akuma he did a lot of experimenting eliza and a lot of those experiments didn't turn out the best so i don't think he's going to repeat those things he probably will just stick to what works so i think the number will be more so in the ballpark of five which is why i have five new characters here 16 plus 5 is 21. Now, if we want to add four more characters to get to 25, those characters is definitely going to be Yoshi, Eddie, Kuma, and I put Lita here. I almost forgot that Lita is pretty much confirmed for Tekken 8. When she was added in as DLC, Harada said this character um, is going to play a big role in the story. So she would take up the 25th slot. This is how small 25 characters are. I know there's some of you guys who are looking like, wow, this character's gone, this character's gone, this character's gone. Even when you extend the character roster to 30 yes you can squeeze a little bit more characters in there maybe a steve a dragon off a Alyssa, a kunimitsu is very popular um maybe even a leo for some diversity you can squeeze a little bit more in there but you're still missing core characters you expand it to 35 bob miguel fang the female version of julia jc and even Lucky Chloe. I know the, the male characters in Tekken is more popular than the female characters, but they do want to have like a diverse roster. And this is exactly why characters like Bruce was turned into Josie, Raven and Master Raven, Christine Monterio was turned into Eddie and, and back and forth, so on and so forth, right? So this is something we have to keep in mind. And this is something that we're definitely going to see play out in Tekken 8. But even if you expand it a little bit more, 40 characters on the roster, which a lot of people said they wanted, then you can maybe squeeze in like a Bruce, a Fakamama, Josie, a Lei Shao Kahn, Alex, Armor King is someone who people say will definitely be on Tekken 8's base roster. Mocha Jin is someone we all want to be there. Basically, this is just a demonstration to show you guys what the numbers actually look like. If you say you want 25 characters, look at everything you'll miss you'll miss out on. If you say you want 40 characters, yes, you get a little bit more, you know, you get a juicier roster, but then you start to have like the problems of past Tekken's reemerge where certain characters are extremely underpopular underused but then if you're somewhere in the middle 30 35 I know Tekken 7 had 36 characters um, there would be some heartbreak but not that much something else that we got to keep in mind too and I am waiting to see which characters this applies to but DLC DLC is such a huge part of the game now, and we can see what Street Fighter is doing by saving Akuma for DLC. They're going to save characters that they know will sell the big money. You know, a Heiachi, a Devil Jin, maybe a Bruce, a Josie, a Fakamram, a Armor King, a Alex, a Fengwe, Miguel, Bach. This is just going to be a reality, and the, the lower the, the roster size gets,